the human body. Everyone has one. Various sizes, fully customizable, makes funny sounds. And you have the nerve. As in you are the nerve. The rest is just a smelly little biomech costume you operate. And it's pretty impressive and streamlined for the most part. Because from time to time Mother Nature will uninstall some apps that you haven't been using like the tail and proper canines. However, some features are just forgotten and left running in the background like the appendix, wisdom teeth and tonsils. But we've all probably heard of those before. Today in the poopy show I wanted to take a look at some of the ones people don't really talk about. Starting with number Number one, you know, sometimes you're having an awesome day and then, oh, I'm in pain now, agony even. This always makes you wish you didn't have your pinky toe. And Francois Albert, co-founder of Canada's first school of podiatric medicine says, Me too, bro. But this will all end soon. Present day, we do need the pinky toe for running in balance. But we actually only need it just because it's already there. The majority of foot movement is done by the big toe anyway. And researchers believe that our pinky toe, which is our weakest piggy, will eventually disappear off to the market. For good. Additionally, none of our 21st century activities involve running away from saber-toothed tigers and we won't be doing that in the foreseeable future. So our feet are getting flatter and our toenails are also getting thinner thanks to the shoe. So who knows, we might not even have feet in the future. No open toe sandals either, hopefully. And then there will be no more suffering. Okay, number two is not actually your knees. You do need kneecaps for muscle support praying to your deities and moving your leg in general. But behind your knees, there's a teeny tiny bone called the fabella. Its name translates to little bean and was once thought unnecessary and lost to evolution. In 1918, less than 12% of the population had, but by the 2000s, that number jumped to 31. Why? Well, we're taller and heavier than ever before and we need the extra support. However, that extra support comes with uneven force distribution, which damages the cartilages anyway. So we don't really need this. And I'd like to add a number two and a half because we definitely don't need this. Freaking height. There are currently no evolutionary benefits to us becoming taller. In fact, the majority of the animal kingdom is actually getting smaller. Because hey, there's no space, I can't see nothing because of you, and I don't care what shoe size you are. We all get our pinky toes demolished on corners regardless of size. Okay? Number three for realsies. The chin. Your jaw jutting out has zero purpose. We're the only animal with a chin, and researchers have no idea why. Hmm. Hmm. Touching our chin while thinking is, yes, something we do to soothe ourselves. The face is very sensitive to touch, but any part of the face will work. The chin is just closest and easiest. But it doesn't really help you talk or chew. The best theory currently suggests that the chin is something called a spandrel or an evolutionary byproduct left from another feature changing. In this case, it's most likely the human face shrinking. And with our shrinking face comes number four, two eyebrows. Okay, hear me out. Researchers in the University of York speculate that our smaller, flatter faces, minus the chin, allow for these bad boys to move up and down easier. See, we once had really prominent brow ridges to support the stress of chewing tougher things. But humans started consuming softer foods. And eating raw animals and sticks fell out of favor, but what was totally in was expressing yourself better. Yeah. We used to have an unmoving sigma unibrow. This was much better for keeping sweat and rain away from our eyes, by the way. This? Two eyebrows? It's proof of our sorification. And realistically, we don't need expressions anymore because we have emojis. I mean, can you honestly tell me that the last time you sent an emoji you were doing the face? Exactly. We just need one eyebrow. Number five. The, these horn things. I have no idea what their purpose is and I never felt like I really needed them, so, you know. And finally, number six, dude nipples. I debated a lot whether to put this one on the list, but then it dawned on me. We must destroy them. Why? Well, every baby starts out as a girl, but nine weeks in, some of us get balls and some of us get nothing. I truly believe this right here is why we have gender inequality. And honestly, either me and my girls get what we were unfairly denied or dudes don't get to have nipples. That seems fair. And yeah, I just solved sexism. Continue praising me. Also, expect the graph with the results from the previous video to be posted later tonight. Yeah, first community post on the booby show. Okay, bye.